I want to show you something that I was doing today, which is, it was incredibly hard work to get the capsule off of this foot. And let me just explain to you what we're seeing here. This is the inside of a horse's foot, and this is what is inside the capsule. So this is the capsule that you would be used to seeing on your horse's foot. Now this is a bit um, distorted because this is dried out, but that is the like the hoof of the of the foot. And when you take the foot outside that capsule, this is what you get, and this is what it looks like. Now, it would be much, much brighter than this. It would be very, very red because it would be full of blood. But I needed to clean this up. And in cleaning it up, I lost quite a bit of the color. So just bear that in mind that this would be much brighter and redder than this. But let's have a look and see what, what we've got in here because I was, quite, I was quite fascinated when I got this capsule off to see what was going on. Now, I've got my toothbrush here because what I want to show you is all these lamina, which are these like, they're long structures that, that start at the top and they go to the bottom of the foot and they are absolutely full of blood and full of nerves. And the reason why I'm doing this with this brush is to show you that there are actually lots and lots and lots of lamina there. And what's happening is, if you can look around there, can you see it looks like just one big blob? Well, it's not one big blob, it's that they've all stuck together. Let me just show you. If I do that, can you see it separates them all out? A bit like hairs, really. And I just thought this was amazing. So what else was really cool about this foot? Well, once I got the capsule off, Look what I saw at the front there. This notch out the front, which I believe is called a crena, and that we see this quite a lot in our horse's feet when we look at the underneath. We see like this notch out of the sole. And when I looked at the inside of this foot, I also saw, so this is the capsule that came off this foot. It's only a part of a capsule because I literally had to take it off piece by piece. It was so stuck. It was so difficult to get it off. But when the capsule did finally come off and I had this one piece, so this is this is the front of the foot here. This is that part where the creaner is. And look, it's the same shape as what we've got here. I mean, I just thought that that was really quite cool. And I suppose what I'm asking is what comes first? Does this shape in the internal foot come first or does this come first? I mean, we do see this quite a bit, don't we? We see this, this notch at the um, front of the foot. Now, while we're here with this, um, this capsule, can you see there are also the similar sort of structures that are all inside that capsule as well. And again, I'm brushing them because they're all starting to join together. They're starting to stick together. So if you can imagine, these are the insensitive lamellae that are in, actually inside the, the capsule. So here's a capsule and here's the insensitive lamellae that run all the way around inside there. And so this is a, a, a cleaner version of what you've just seen. And these lamellae, they interdigitate with these lamellae here. If you can imagine, it's like Velcro and they stick like you would not believe. It is incredibly hard to get them off, get this hoof capsule off. And honestly, I was sweating and swearing to try and get this off. I was really struggling. And in the end, the only thing I could do was I was having to do it, nipper it off a bit at a time. So this is about the biggest bit that I've got. Yeah, but I thought that was really interesting. And also, if you look a little bit more carefully at this, at this creaner, you can see that there's a bit more tissue down the bottom there compared to what we've got around here. There seems to be like a big blob of tissue. So I'm, I'm wondering what all that's about and, and why do we get that? And, and, and is that normal and, and um, you know, would, would we expect that to see that in, in all horses' hooves? 